Okay, I'll try to explain in detail what I do with the sludge left over from each batch of homemade diesel fuel. Okay, uh, I already put this tote inside my shed, so it's a little crowded in here, but I'm just trying to show you for example. So in the previous video, all that black sludge left at the bottom of these mixing totes in the previous video, or from the bottom of that, or even from the barrel. I dump everything in this tote. So right now, this tote is about three quarters filled right now. After these two to uh, batches are done and I pump them out and I vacuum out the sludge, I'm going to put that in here, fill this up all the way with all that sludge. And what I'm going to do, since this is all pre-mixed clean fuel, all that sludge is going to settle to the bottom of this tote. So now, instead of wasting all that uh, fuel from each batch, I put it in this tote, I'm going to let it settle out. So instead of uh, pumping off like five inches off the bottom, leaving the sludge, on this batch, it's going to be about a third. So I'm going to pump off the top two thirds of nice clean fuel and this bottom third of sludge that's left behind. I could take it to one of those oil recycling center, like you could drop it off at like Walmart or something like that. But what I tend to use it with is a good fire starter for uh, like brush, trees, wood, and leaves and crap, cleaning up the property. So that's what I tend to do with it. So this one full tote of sludge, which is about almost 300 gallons when this is filled to the top, I'll get about 225 gallons of good clean fuel. So that bottom like 50 gallons of uh, sludge that's about what's left over from, I think it's like 5,000 or 6,000 gallons of homemade diesel fuel or something. Uh, it's really not much left after all the processing is done. And that's all the crap that got through the bed sheet. You know, that's all the carbon and water and sludge and uh, fine medical particles or whatever that possibly made it through. My raw motor oil totes. Like this one, after uh, refilling them about three or four times, the sludge I vacuum out of these go into a different tote of uh, motor oil. And it's almost the same process of, of this tote. I'm going to put all that sludge in uh, one tote. And uh, once it's filled with all that really bad sludge, I'm going to pump off the top half of good, clean, used motor oil and the bottom half of that sludge again will either go back uh, back to a recycling center or i'll use it to burn brush and crap and normally when the fire is hot enough and stuff it doesn't matter if there's a little bit of water or antifreeze in it it goes up no problem it just turns into steam so hopefully that answers all your questions on what i do with the sludge and byproducts of making homemade diesel fuel